Hey, it's Kim. Thanks for stopping by today's video. This one's gonna be a quick one. Um, I'm sharing with you the unboxing of my latest planner. Before we get started, I made myself a little bit of an afternoon pick-me-up, and I'm gonna head upstairs, take the camera with me um, to show you guys the unboxing and the setup and all the ins and outs and everything. So while I go upstairs, I'm gonna show you the actual footage from when I unboxed it yesterday. To say I was excited to get this box would be an understatement. It was stuck in Belgium for about a week, almost a week and a half. Yeah, I was stalking FedEx and stressed out a little bit, but it eventually arrived. And then, of course, I had to immediately set up the camera and open it up after struggling with all of the um, plastic <laughs> wrapped around the box and everything. But once I got inside, I saw the VDS planner card that comes with every VDS planner that you purchase, as well as this little teeny tiny box. Okay, the box is not like super small, but smaller than the other planners I've ordered from them because of course this is my first pocket size planner. In this order, I did uh, request a few samples as well. I wanted to try out or to at least see a lot of the touch me leathers, the colors, um, especially those on the wait list. So there were a few that I didn't already have in my sample, so I wanted to kind of see them, touch them. I'm a very tactile kind of person to know if I'm gonna like a leather. I want to feel it as well as see it. Getting into the planner though, um, as soon as I picked it up, I was a little bit surprised. I was actually surprised that it was softer than I anticipated. So the color is absolutely, absolutely perfect. Exactly what I wanted, exactly what I thought it would be because of course I already had a sample of this nicotine colored leather, but touching it, felt a lot different. It felt a lot softer than the sample that I have. So that was really um, a nice surprise, I would say. So I looked at the flyleaf first, check that out to make sure, you know, it looks fine. I got the bicolor flyleaf, um, just wanted to make sure that was correct. And I also asked to have that extended or widened a bit. And then I started just feeling around <laughs> on the inside, making sure all of the customizations that I requested were correct um, so that none of that, you know, got messed up or anything. Just making sure everything is as I ordered it. So once I checked it out and sniffed it, of course, we always have to do the sniff test. <laughs> once I checked it out, I put the fly leaf inside of it and then I did box her back up so that we could film the rest of this video the next day. I also, after I put in the fly leaf, I wanted to make sure that the pin loop wasn't in the way of the strap. So I did a few customizations and I did move the pin leaf, the pin loop to the fly leaf. And that was so that I wouldn't have any issues with using pocket plus size inserts. I'll go into that a little more in depth later, but I wanted to make sure that with the pin loop on the fly leaf that it wouldn't get in the way of the clasp closing and it doesn't. So here she is. I'm really excited and I am in love the way I imagined I would be <laughs> with um, not only ostrich leather but also the color. I wasn't so sure about the color because I hadn't seen a lot of examples of what this nicotine ostrich really looks like or like you know if it had any reddish undertones, if it was super super dark, if it was medium. But I'm going to try and make sure I give you a true example of what this shade of brown looks like and actually now that I say that I'm going to compare a couple of other shades of brown leathers as well just in case anyone else is interested or anyone else has those same types of questions that I had. So here she is this is a 20 millimeter junior from Vanderspeck and a junior is their pocket size planner and this one is made only with 20 millimeter rings they do have an option uh, for 25 millimeter rings and I think that you can possibly get 16 millimeter rings but um, that requires a different back plate and I feel like that might be a customization um, that's a little bit separate from this like a separate product listing 
So to clarify, um, 16 millimeter rings requires a completely different backplate than 20 and 25 millimeter rings. So technically, um, even though I ordered this with 20 millimeter rings, I could switch it out to 25 millimeters, but I wouldn't be able to switch to 16 because they wouldn't fit the same mechanism that's already installed in here. Hope that's clear. All right, so I'm gonna take you through and show you exactly um, the customizations that I ordered and all of those details. Again, this is the 20 millimeter pocket from Vanderspeck and the outside leather is ostrich leather in the color nicotine. And this is less quill, which means it doesn't have um, these full quill bumps all over the planner, which is actually my preference. And it's primarily because I like how organic the placement of the quills looks with less quill. I don't need to have it completely covered in quills. Also, sometimes less quill can mean that these quills or bumps are not as raised as it would be with full quill. Um, for some people, that bothers them, but not me. So I got this with a chunky clasp, and I did specifically ask to have um, the inside and the outside of the clasp in the nicotine ostrich. So since I have two colors, um, an inside color and outside color, normally the inside of the clasp would match the inside of the planner. Um, but I requested to have both sides in the ostrich and getting into the inside. The inside is Janet leather undyed. So that's what I have in here. And I did order it with a fly leaf and I wanted it to be a bicolor fly leaf. So the front is the nicotine ostrich and the back is the Janet leather undyed. I guess technically I could flip the fly leaf over. I guess if I felt so inclined if I wanted to switch it up and have the undyed show. But I just like the added touch of interest that the bicolor fly leaf adds. So on the left side, this is almost the typical layout for a Vanderspeck Jr. It does come with the four credit card slots and then I do have two full height slip pockets here. What I added was this bottom pocket um, be mm, because I feel like it could be very functional. And also I kind of just wanted it to match the right side. So on the right side, um, I have the full height slip pocket that just comes with the regular layout. Can't get my words together. <laughs> so I have the full height slip pocket that comes with the regular layout as well as this little horizontal pocket comes with the regular layout. What I did have added though was an outward facing pocket over here on the right. And my thinking with this is if I wanted to use this planner, well my plan is to use it as an everyday carry. So it'll be with me all the time. Everyday carry, whenever I leave the house it's going to be with me. So my thinking though was that if I wanted to use this as my wallet then I could have this space here, if you can imagine, if I'm out at a store or something and I have either a receipt or a couple of bills, I can just stash them right in there and then button that back up. I don't need to open up the entire thing. Also, I'm really not a fan of back pockets, of the big back pocket, so I didn't order it with this. Um, I don't carry a lot of cash, so I didn't find the need to have that uh, big back pocket so that I could you know, have a lot of bills in there. So that wasn't a necessity for me. Also this front horizontal pocket, I imagine I would put my license in here as well. And I normally don't carry a lot of cards, so these four slots work just fine. I could probably put my vaccination card in here and then load it up with the other inserts that I would normally use in an everyday carry. Speaking of which, <laughs> I'll switch over and show you how I've had this one set up. So this is the um, Pocket Miyakara from Gilio. And this is the one I showed in my planner lineup for 2022. And I truly do love it. Obviously I have a thing for dark brown leather. Uh, but I found this to be a little bit too bulky as I explained in a recent quarter one planner update video. So the only inserts that I would need to carry or that I would want to carry would be in this inside part. And then there's the added bulk of the exterior that I really don't need to carry with me on a daily basis. So I wanted something a bit more streamlined and uh, something that would be easier to transport and that's where this sweet baby comes in. I also really just wanted to try out Ostra's leather. Um, so I saw that it was available on the website and I jumped on it. <laughs> so that's where we are. And um, I mentioned in that update video that I was thinking about 
trading this out for a different color because I do still have a use for it which you'll see in an upcoming video but I wanted to trade this out maybe for a different color even though I really do love dark brown I don't know if you know I want to keep this color or switch it out will it feel too redundant having both of these in my collection maybe maybe not but before I get into switching over the inserts and going through the flip for you, I want to show you a comparison between the sizes of these two. So this one has uh, 16 millimeter rings, actually. And as I mentioned, this one has 20 millimeter rings. But as you can see, there's a huge difference in size, especially if we're talking about something that you're going to carry with you every day in your purse. There's a big difference, to me at least, between the pocket planner here and the um, pocket Mia Cara. Now what I didn't mention also um, I'm using this or I will be using this with pocket plus inserts and the fly leaf that I had added to this planner I did have it widened by five millimeters to line up with pocket plus inserts. So that's just another FYI and I do have pocket plus inserts in here as well if anyone is wondering and pocket plus is three and a half inches wide by five inches tall pocket inserts are i can't remember the dimensions i feel like they're a little less than three inches wide or three and a half inches wide it might be something like 2.75 inches though that sounds small but if i remember i'll put it right here on the screen for you the comparison of the dimensions for pocket inserts and pocket plus inserts so the size difference between these two is really big. Also the weight of both of these, because this is so much added leather, um, carrying this in a purse just would feel and felt very ridiculous to me. Also you can see the width between the two and I'll insert some photos to hopefully give you a better view of how these compare to one another in terms of the size and all of that good stuff so that was definitely the reason after i realized um, that carrying this or using this was a great addition to my system i knew that i needed something that would make it easier for me for me or make it um more likely for me to actually carry it so it needed to be a lot smaller and a bit lighter i should also note that it is said that ostrich leather is a lot lighter than cow leather so actually that would contribute to the weight of the planner as well. All right, so before I move on to the inserts, I'll give you a view and I'll take a few extra photos of the color difference between these two. So as you can see, I would, I would say that the uh, nicotine ostrich is more of a dark chocolatey kind of color and the Giglio dark brown is more of a milk chocolate kind of color. <laughs> if we're going with the whole chocolate theme. So I really do love the tone and the shade of this color brown. And with that said, I actually do have a sample of Vanderspeck's dark brown as well. Let me pull that out. I have a ton of samples <laughs> from Vanderspeck, but this is the dark brown and it's called the Janet Leather Dark Brown from Vanderspeck. And I think as compared to the Giglio Dark Brown, um, the Vanderspeck almost looks a little more reddish in undertone like a little warmer than the Giglio dark brown also um definitely a lot lighter and a lot redder than the nicotine ostrich so that's a color comparison if you are a fellow brown leather lover and you wanted to know how these colors stack up against each other all right so the next step i'm gonna switch the inserts from here to here and then I'll walk you through how I'm using this as an everyday carry and also there are actually a few things that I want to add to this to make it a bit more functional for me and I'll take you along that journey with me as well so I'm just gonna pull this out to make it easier to switch everything over and here we go
All right, so I have everything inside of here. And there were, like I said, a few additions that I decided to add in as well. Since I've been using this um, setup as an everyday carry for the past three, almost four full months, I've come to realize that there are a few things that I feel like I'm missing or a few things that I feel like I could add here. So I'm going to, once I figure this out, <laughs> I'm going to uh, punch some holes in the things that I have printed out. I think this lined up correctly. So what I have here, I have uh, essentially what's like a fold out that is like a perpetual calendar. So it goes January to June on the front and then July to December on the back. And this is from Paper Test Designs. I'll let you know who all the inserts are by as we go through, but that's that one. And this one is the one that I actually really feel like I need. This one I wasn't so sure about, but it came in the set, so I figured I would print it as well. So this one is a fold out and it has six months on the front, six months on the back. And what I think I'm gonna use this for, not think, what I know I'm gonna use this for is for tracking uh, school days off, um, days off of work, things like that that I would like to see on an overall basis like I want to see the whole year laid out if you've been here for a while you may recall that I actually used to have that inside my daily planner and that's this one right here and I had this layout for the year and I had decorative or colored dots marking different days but I feel like this is more of the place that I use for scheduling so like long-term scheduling and appointments and things that are coming up so I think it would be more beneficial for me to have that view inside of this everyday carry so this is the insert that I found also from paper test design that I'm going to print out or that I printed out I'm going to punch it and add it into here and I'll show you exactly where I'm putting that in a moment the additional things that I realized that I need in here are also some appointment sticky notes so when I'm out and about, maybe we're at the dentist and I need to make a follow-up appointment for six months or someplace. Um, and actually, that's a good example. So I'll write it on here. So I'll reference my calendar to see like what's going on and what's going on for the month, um, where we might have an opening. And then I'll write it down on here. And then once I get closer to that date or once I really confirm in my brain and in my schedule that I don't want to change or reschedule that appointment, I'll transfer the information from the sticky note into the actual calendar pages. So having appointment sticky notes I found to be necessary for me in this setup. These are also from Paper Test Designs and I printed them out just on some white Post-it brand stickies. And her set of sticky templates that she has comes with a few other things um, some of these other things I would use in my daily planner I don't think any of these things I would use over here there is a coming up one that I might use over here as well but I'm gonna add those into here and I'll show you again where that's gonna go as soon as we get set up now because this is very functional it's solely functional for me um, there's not a lot of deco like I said when and if I use this as a wallet or an alternative to my wallet um, I'll just put some cards over here and stash some cash or receipts there and my identification here and that should be good enough I actually carry a really small wallet so this is technically a lot bigger than my current wallet which I'll show you hold on so I normally carry a really small wallet anyway <laughs> So it's like teeny tiny and again I just have a few cards in here I do have some slots if I need to put in a receipt or something and this is primarily because I carry really small bags so to go from this to this as a wallet um, is a big difference for me I guess in terms of portability um, but I can see the benefit of combining the two that's why I wanted the option to be able to use this as a wallet should I choose because I can imagine just carrying this and my keys and I'm good to go so anyway it's very functional for me I don't need a lot of deco I just need things to like I said be functional and I have a couple of extra paper clips and ollie clips that I imagine I could use for different purposes or um, things that might come up do I like that I don't want that one and then I have these 
paper clips that I will not put onto the leather. I feel like they cause dents. But what if I put them in here? Mm, nope. <laughs> so I'll figure out where to put those paper clips as we move on. So opening up, this is the fly leaf, and I said, I think I told you that I added some width. Yes, I added five millimeters to the fly, le fly leaf so that it would be the same dimensions as Pocket Plus. And I also moved the pin loop from this side of the planner to the fly leaf. And the reason is because I didn't know if my inserts will press up against the pin loop if I left it here. Um, or my dividers really they probably they might have but I think it depends on like where you position each divider so that was the purpose of me moving um, the pen loop to the fly leaf and this is the pen that I would like to use in here but I kind of have to squeeze it in which I can do um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be annoyed by that like when I'm out and about also uh, having a pen that just has a click, you know, that I don't have to twist open like this fountain pen. Maybe a bit more easy. We'll see, but I have those two pen options that I'll use in here when I need them. So opening up, I have these clear dividers and um, it's in gold foil by Shop Gracie Edits. And I just have a set of four. I have calendar, schedule, info, and notes. And then this is from Hey Planner Girl, it's a freebie in the winter time, but I printed it out on linen cardstock and I'm using that as my divider or my section divider headings. And then we open up and I have a year at a glance for 2022 and 2023 and that's by Paper Test Designs. I think a lot of these are paper tests. And then it gets into monthly overviews, but I think right before this I would enter these inserts that I just printed out. So I think I put this one first. And then this one. So I imagine these are all inserts I might need um, to see the year at a glance, depending on what's going on in our lives. So that's those. And then we get into the monthly overviews. I feel like I need to crease that a little bit better. So then we get into the monthly overviews. Oh, and I'll show you. So they just flip out like this. So they fold out like that. And I guess depending on the month, I can decide to flip it that way or flip it this way. But that's generally the way that they work. So the monthly overviews. And I tried out a few before I landed on these. Um, so for the most part, I wanted something that gave me a list view. And I needed... A lot of space so a lot of them give a list view but only like one half of the page and I noticed that I prefer to have a bit more space so in the previous months I've been using it so the left side would be for dated appointments um, or timed appointments and then the right side would just be for day specific items like no school or no work and then I use the overview so the little monthly calendar to note or put down little stickies for days off and things like that and then the section of notes for reminders for myself for things that I might need to schedule during this month so that flow and that layout has been working extremely well for me so those are going to stay and these are both by paper test designs I believe they're two separate items that I purchased so there were the all of the monthlies and then these overviews were either separate from that or I'm actually not sure, <laughs> but I'll link the shop down below and you can um, see what offerings that she has. But you can see, so some months, the month um, overview is on the left or the month calendar is on the left with the listed dates on the right. And then it flips back and forth with the listed dates on the left and then the month calendar on the right. And that's just the way I had to arrange it because it didn't all come in one document already. And then I do have January 2023 and then just some notes on the back of here. This pocket is from Cat Espresso Co. And I'm using these dots from Sweet Caress. They're actually dots and hexagons. And those are the things that I'm using to mark off dates and items 
on the monthly calendars and I kind of do have them color coded certain colors for certain things so the next section is schedule and again we have that divider cover from hey planner girl printed on linen cardstock and this is where I have weeklies so I've been going back and forth of whether or not I actually need to keep weeklies in here I'm still not so sure I feel like I don't need to have weeklies in here um, but I do to kind of fill up the space <laughs> but I don't need to have them so originally it was for like I said future planning and to give me an outlook to see what's going on you know coming up in the coming months oh great I think I hear the landscaper anyway so <laughs> to give me an overview for what's coming on up um, you know down the line but since I have the monthly overview this is the thing that I look at the most or you know more often so but that's what's in the schedule section and then right behind here I also have this from Cat Sparso. it's a fold out and I have some sticky notes on here for myself and then on the back of here I, got, I have some translucent sticky notes so this is exactly where I would put I would park these sticky notes that I would use if I need to schedule an appointment and then this coming up one I imagine I put somewhere around the monthly so I could put that like there or I don't know I'm thinking I would use this for tentative plans things that aren't set in stone so I just have them somewhere noted um, and then once they're confirmed I'll move them to a specific date I would also should show you I have these translucent circle stickers from cloth and paper that I just put a little um, label sticker clear label sticker up at the top and that marks my monthly and then my weekly and then right after this section I have some dailies these dailies are undated from paper test designs and my purpose for using these are when I'm going out running errands so if I have a list of things I need to get from Walmart or some reminders of things I want to do the next time I leave the house that's what these dailies are for and that's why they're undated I do use them here or there just to jot down quick notes next section is info and in this section I currently have only um, some contact pages and my thought process here is to write down the contact information of the people like emergency contacts or doctors or numbers I would need in the event that like I lose my phone or my phone dies or something like that. It's not very likely to happen, but you never know. But that is the contact information I would keep in here. Also in this info section. I intend to keep information like my children's clothes and shoe sizes. Um, there were a few other things that I thought about that I could include in the info section as well that I can't think of off the top of my head. And then the last section is notes. Hmm. Then the last section is notes. So in here, it's just what it says, it's just notes. I have a variety of notes pages, types of notes pages. And um, I want to start something called an open tabs list. So I don't know if you can relate, but on my phone, um, in the web browser, I have a bunch of tabs open for things that I want to refer back to. So things I want to look up or later or research later, just things that I want to come back to. So I felt like it was a good idea to write those all on an actual list. And then once I have some downtime, some free time, especially if I'm out and about and I'm just like sitting waiting in the doctor's office or something, I can reference my open tabs list, look up some information on items that I wanted to come back to. So that's what that's for. And I do have additional task lists. And I believe these are by Simple Trendy Co. And then just some grid notes pages. And in the back, the very last item I have is also from Cat Spresso Co. and it has this full height slip pocket on the front and that's a journaling card by the Planner Spa. And then on the back it has a secretarial pocket and I just have a an envelope from Traveler's Company. And I thought maybe I would put um, stamps 
or things like that and here I haven't done that as of yet but little items that I might need to carry with me when I'm out of the house so that's everything that I have in my everyday carry it's very functional works for me like I said these slots are reserved to use as a wallet when and if I choose um, there's not a lot of deco going on I will let me add in I wanted to add in some more of these kinds of page flags or sticky notes so let's put some of these maybe back here never know when I might need them sticky notes always come in handy am I right or am I right so those are there oh I guess I could clip these here as well these paper clips I didn't want to clip the paper clips to the leather um because I didn't want it to cause any indentations or anything like that but clipping them to this would be perfectly fine so that's that I could have also clipped them here as well so that is my everyday carry and um I'm in love <laughs> so again this is 20 millimeter rings it's actually not very stuffed it's not too full I had all of this stuff in these 16 millimeter rings so it was a, a bit of a tight fit in here but in here it works for me and everything fits nicely and compact so there you have it if you have any questions about anything I've shown in today's video um, feel free to ask down below I'll try to link anything I've mentioned as well thank you so much for watching today's video and I'm actually going to be doing a video talking about ordering a custom planner from VDS and I do feel like it may come in handy for some I know when I was first starting out I had a lot of questions wasn't exactly sure where to go so I would like to provide that kind of resource and that video will be coming up soon so if you don't want to miss it be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications in the meantime of course you can check out my planner playlist that I'll have linked over here on the side and down below for you thanks again for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one